Welcome to You Know. The Andromeda Galaxy revealed to humanity that our universe isn't centered around us. It's proof that Earth isn't the only place with a galaxy, showing we might just be a tiny part of something much bigger. Over the past century, we've learned a lot about Andromeda, mostly from studying it from Earth. But with tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, our understanding has shifted. Data from the telescope has surprised everyone, revealing that Andromeda isn't what we thought. Just over a century ago, people saw the Milky Way as a faint band of light in the night sky. They couldn't pick out individual stars because the technology of the time wasn't advanced enough. Some thought the Milky Way was the center of creation, where heaven and earth met. Galileo Galilei changed that in the early 17th century using his telescope. He saw that the Milky Way was made up of countless stars and celestial objects, not just a blurry band of light. He showed that Earth wasn't at the center of everything but part of a vast universe. In the 750s, Thomas Wright proposed that the Milky Way wasn't just a random scattering of stars but a flat layer of them. He even suggested that our solar system was part of the structure. While this was a step forward, it was still limited by the technology of the time. By the early 19th century, astronomy was advancing rapidly. Edwin Hubble's observations with the 100-inch Hooker telescope in the 1920s were groundbreaking. He found that nebulae beyond the Milky Way were actually separate galaxies, each with billions of stars. One of these galaxies was Andromeda, also known as M31. Its observation goes back centuries, with records dating to the 10th century. Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi described it as a small cloud visible to the naked eye. Andromeda's significance lies in being one of the few galaxies visible without a telescope. It's like a faint cloud in the sky, hinting at something beyond the stars. Telescopic observations in the 17th century provided more detail, paving the way for future study. French astronomer Charles Messier catalogued Andromeda as M31 in 1764, though mistakenly attributing its discovery. Nonetheless, his work put Andromeda on the map, sparking curiosity among astronomers worldwide. In 1864, English astronomer William Huggins made a significant leap in understanding the Andromeda galaxy. His groundbreaking observation of Andromeda spectrum revealed differences from typical gaseous nebulae, providing a deeper insight into Andromeda's true nature. Despite its colossal mass, estimated to be between 1 and 2 trillion times that of our Sun, Andromeda is a cosmic giant residing relatively close to us in space. Scientific research suggests Andromeda is approximately 10 billion years old, making it ancient in cosmic terms. The intriguing hypothesis proposes that Andromeda formed through the merging of several smaller protogalaxies over billions of years, a common occurrence in the cosmos shaping the growth and structure of galaxies. For a considerable period, astronomers believed Andromeda was significantly more massive than our Milky Way. However, recent research has led to a re-evaluation, indicating that the masses of these two cosmic giants are much closer than previously thought. The current understanding suggests that if one were on Andromeda looking at Earth, they would see a galaxy just as massive, putting into perspective the colossal size of the Milky Way itself. Andromeda's physical dimensions, agreed upon by astronomers, showcase its vastness, stretching farther than our Milky Way with an impressive diameter of about 220,000 light-years. This revised perspective highlights the complexities of accurately measuring galaxy mass, intricately linked to the distribution and movements of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter within them. One of the most fascinating features of the Andromeda galaxy is its active galactic nucleus. This highly energetic region at the galaxy's center is powered by a supermassive black hole. Observations with advanced telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope reveal an interesting phenomenon. The nucleus appears to have two points of concentration, indicating two distinct regions where intense emissions occur. The brighter concentration, slightly off the true galactic center, houses the estimated supermassive black hole with a mass between 1.1 to 2.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8. Solar masses, weighing approximately 110 to 230 million times as much as our Sun. Supermassive black holes are common in the centers of galaxies, including our Milky Way, and play a crucial role in their evolution and dynamics. When matter such as gas and stars gets too close to these black holes, it forms an accretion disk around them. 
This disk heats up, emitting intense radiation across various wavelengths, making the active galactic nucleus highly luminous. Observations of the Andromeda galaxy's nucleus reveal a brighter point of concentration near its central supermassive black hole. Due to unique gravitational interactions with surrounding stars in the heart of Andromeda, the supermassive black hole exerts immense gravitational pull on surrounding stars, causing them to orbit elliptically. At the perihelion, the point of closest approach to the black hole, gravitational forces are strongest, leading stars to move at their highest speeds and bunch up around the black hole. This concentration of stars releases energy in the form of radiation, creating the observed brighter point of concentration in Andromeda's nucleus, offering valuable insights into gravitational dynamics and interactions. Andromeda also boasts an abundance of globular clusters, dense groups of stars orbiting its center. With around 460 of these clusters, each containing hundreds of thousands to millions of stars, Andromeda's globular clusters provide insights into its cosmic history and interactions with smaller galaxies. The accumulation of these clusters and stars from smaller galaxies through a process known as galactic cannibalism enriches Andromeda's stellar population. Recent observations suggest Andromeda may be transitioning from a typical spiral galaxy to a relatively rare ring galaxy. Ring galaxies, characterized by circular or elliptical ring-like structures, contain bright, young, and blue stars in their rings, while their central regions have relatively little luminous matter. This transformation adds to the intrigue surrounding Andromeda's cosmic evolution and highlights the dynamic nature of galaxies in the universe. P-type ring galaxies, on the other hand, have off-center nuclei, and their rings tend to be more irregular. These ring galaxies are considered rare cosmic gems, with only approximately 1 in 10,000 galaxies classified as them. Astronomers have proposed two main mechanisms for the formation of ring galaxies, through the collision of two or more galaxies or when a smaller galaxy passes through the center of a larger galaxy, triggering the formation of a ring-like structure. Examples of ring galaxies thought to be formed through galactic collisions include the Cartwheel Galaxy, Galaxy PUM 2026-424, and ARP-147, showcasing the intricacies at play in cosmic events. But what's happening now is even more intriguing. Scientists predict that the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are on a collision course, and will eventually merge to form a new supergalaxy. This colossal event has garnered nicknames like Mila or Milkidronda worldwide. However playful these names may sound, the consequences of this merger for humanity could be devastating. As the two galaxies approach each other, their immense gravitational forces will cause them to distort each other's shapes, leading to tidal interactions where stars, gas, and dust are pulled between them. The galaxies will begin to overlap, causing mayhem and destruction everywhere. However, this process won't happen all at once. As the galaxies continue to draw closer, their collision initiates the merging process, leading to significant changes in the environment, both in space and on Earth. During the merging process, stars, gas clouds, and dust clouds from both galaxies interact and mix together, leading to the formation of new star clusters and structures within the newly merged galaxy. Supermassive black holes at the centers of both galaxies will also merge, forming an even larger black hole at the heart of the newly combined galaxy. This merging process can trigger bursts of star formation and create stunning displays of star clusters, shock waves, and bright bursts of radiation transforming the night sky as new constellations and stellar arrangements emerge. However, while these cosmic events unfold on a grand scale, their effects run deep. The merging of galaxies could lead to disturbances in the solar system, impacting Earth's climate and weather patterns. Changes in temperature, precipitation, and weather events might occur globally, influencing the distribution of vegetation and animal habitats. The altered atmospheric composition might affect photosynthesis and other essential processes sustaining life on our planet, potentially causing disruptions in ecosystems and threatening the survival of various species. Furthermore, disruptions in habitats and changing climates could interfere with migration patterns and breeding habits of many animal species, leading to challenges in finding food, water, and suitable breeding sites. Increased competition for resources could occur, altering biodiversity and the variety of life forms within ecosystems. Some species may thrive in the new conditions, 
while others may struggle to survive, ultimately reshaping the balance of life on Earth. Unfortunately, there will also be animal species that may be unable to adapt quickly enough to the new conditions, leading to local extinctions. Disruptions in habitats and migration patterns can have cascading effects on the entire ecosystem, potentially resulting in the loss of certain species from specific regions or habitats. While all of this is heartbreaking, the reality is that even if the galaxies are on a collision course, the process won't actually happen overnight. The collision is expected to begin approximately 4 billion years from now, and the entire merging process will take another 2 billion years to complete. As for our species, we will be long gone by then, and our planet Earth will have undergone tremendous changes long before the collision even begins. Around 5 billion years from now, our sun is projected to evolve into a red giant, eventually expanding and engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. This process will likely render our solar system uninhabitable long before the merger between the two galaxies takes place. If some descendants of our species or other life forms exist around for to 6 billion years from now, they will be incredibly distant from us in evolutionary history, nothing like humans today. The merger itself raises questions about the fate of our solar system within the new supergalaxy. There is a chance that our solar system could be ejected into the intergalactic medium during the collision. However, the exact outcome and structure of the new galaxy are impossible to predict with certainty. One likely consequence is that the galactic disks of both galaxies will be disrupted, and the spiral arms of each galaxy will be dispersed. Whether this results in Milcoma becoming an elliptical galaxy or a large disk galaxy is something we won't find out until the merger actually happens. But the way things are, it's possible for the merger to go either way. As the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way merge, the cosmic forces and interactions between stars, gas, and dust will shape a new galactic structure different from what we've always known. Within this merged galaxy, there may be star systems with planets orbiting in the habitable zone where conditions could be suitable for liquid water to exist. Liquid water is considered a crucial factor for the development and sustenance of life as we know it. However, the stability of the new galactic structure will play a vital role in determining whether life can thrive. The interaction between stars and potential gravitational disturbances might affect planetary orbits and environmental conditions, influencing the evolution and sustainability of life on any potential habitable planets. While the merger of galaxies can lead to increased cosmic radiation and stellar activity, including rare events such as supernova and gamma-ray bursts, the actual occurrence of these events and their impact on planetary environments are difficult to predict. If life were to emerge in the new galaxy, it would likely undergo adaptation to the specific conditions of its environment. Different physical and chemical properties of the new galactic region could give rise to unique forms of life, distinct from what we know on Earth but humans of today won't be able to survive in this new galaxy. Do you think humans can evolve enough to make it in Milkamida? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and like always, we'll see you in the next one.